How to Make Scented Candles. Hi, I'm Adrienne France. And I'm Sonia Kirsten. And welcome to Video Jug. <laughs> Today we're going to show you how to make soy pillar candles. And Sonia has a company called healingheartcandles.com and you can actually order some of the cool candles that we're gonna make today. If we can do it, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> you will need candle wick, scissors, a wick kit, soy wax, a mold, scented oil, colored chips, a hot plate, a double boiler, and a wooden spoon. <laughs> if two blondes can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Step one, boil the wax. So these are double boilers. And what we're using today is a hot plate to actually boil the wax on it. This is vegetable soy wax. A lot of wax comes in big bricks, especially the petroleum wax, and it's harder to work with. I prefer to use the... Except it gets under your nails, but whatever. It doesn't get under your nails. Step two, prep the mold. These are candle molds. Basically, they have a little hole on the bottom here. If you're making pillar candles, you have to ask specifically for a pillar wick. Have it be about double the size of your mold. See that? And you're gonna chop snip, it. Snip, and be careful, because look at what happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna need these tools. They come together, these three things. The washer and these little black, like spongy, like spongy things. rubbery things. Just so you know, you can't skimp on these little parts. You, you know, really need to have them because otherwise, you're not gonna make an awesome candle. You're just gonna make a pile of wax. So, you wanna take the wick and you put it first through the spongy thing, through the hole, you know. Okay, so then we're gonna take the washer and stick it through like that so it's on top of that, right? And then we make a knot. Just tie, and make a really tight knot, otherwise it's not gonna work. Make sure that the washer is next to the knot and the sponge is on the bottom. The and what that does is that prevents the wax from leaking out of the bottom of the hole. That's true. And you just stick the wick through the hole like this. And it's gonna come out the other side. Voila. Voila! And then you're gonna take this and you're gonna use the center hole to stick the wick through, like that. And then you want to pull it really pull it tight. as tight as you possibly can. And then you bring it over to the side like that. And we'll wrap it around. Wrap it around a few times. Step three, add wax chips. You want to take these chips and you want to break them up and put them in the pillar candles. What this does is it's going to make the candles cool faster. When wax cools, it shrinks. This prevents bubble bubble. shrinkage. It's going to go down in the middle, and you don't want that. And the chips are pretty. They put a little, especially when you can do any color. I like yeah. to do white. It gives it like a little underglow. If you have a bunch of old candles that you've already burnt down, I like to like chop them up into little bits and pieces, making sure that there's no wicks or little metal parts left in them. I make candles in a way that there's nothing left to recycle. I'll show you one in the other room with a bunch of chunks that we could put in it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Step four, add color and scent. I brought over some colors. Colors come in a variety. You can buy liquid color. That's what I usually you use You can buy powder. I prefer the chips. And you can use any kind of oil. You can't use any body oils. Yet. No, it's, it's got to be essential no, oils. Yeah. Specifically for candles is the safest. Yeah. Make sure that you stir it enough so that yeah, the chips, enough. the color is all blended. Step five, pour the wax. Just let it sit. But what happens with candles is they do shrink and they'll, they'll kind of create a little divot so you can keep filling it up with more wax too when that happens. Step six, remove the mold. This is actually the top of your candle's bottom. And this is actually the bottom. It's actually better to cut the wick before the wax is completely yeah. solidified because then you can actually stick the scissors in the wax and the wick is hidden underneath the wax so it makes mm -hmm. a flatter bottom. This is your wick this that you're gonna the light. the wick so you don't wanna cut too much. And you wanna really cut on the knot. Unravel it a little bit, and then you can always trim it a little more later. So Are we ready for the ready? unveiling? One, two, two three. A oh, blue moon. Oh, How no. pretty is that? Done. Bye, video jug. Video jug. We love video jug. We love you. Bye. 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 Wow, that was really cheesy. <laughs> <laughs>